What is up, YouTube? This is FNH here with a brand new video to talk about the Rode Wireless Go. So today I'm going to be reviewing this product, letting you know its price point, and also testing it out. Quick test on the iPhone, showing you how the audio quality is with and without the headphones. So let's get right into it. So we're gonna unbox this, see what it comes with, and just go from there. So, so well, actually, it does come with these. It comes with the receiver and transmitter, uh, the windshield plus spare, USB-C cable the two SC two cables so like basically connecting to the receiver and to the phone and the pouch so let's get right into it uh, I got these babies for $200 from B&H Amazon doesn't have them there are sellers selling it for about like it's expensive how much they're selling for like 300 no idea why they're so expensive on Amazon Oh god, I hate I hate opening these boxes. Oh, cause there's tape on them. I'm so stupid. Okay, uh, yeah, they're selling it on Amazon for 300. I believe eBay has it for a bit higher price as well. So I got it from B&H. I'll leave a link in the description below. I'll leave the Amazon one as well. So you, just in case you don't trust B&H, you want to get it from Amazon. Um, but yeah, I got it for 217 with tax. Tax can vary per location you're in. I think that was all the tapes. Ah, I don't want. I hate ripping the boxes but I hate unboxing these boxes also. So it's not an unbox type box. It's like you pull it out. That's why. Okay, I suck at these things. I apologize. All right, we got the Rode Wireless Go. A um, little bit of a different types of box that you open. So once you open it, you reopen it with another one, as you can see over here. So I'm gonna open this as well. All right, so this is the actual start guide and the box itself. Um, here you go. So you can see these are the instructions. Uh, it tells you what it is. The transmitter, I believe, the receiver, I believe, where you put it, you put the this one on the top of you and this one on the camera, or I guess for me, my phone. And here are the Rode mics. So let's get right into it. Ugh, come off. Why am I bad at this? Okay, this, I don't like the way they pack the box, honestly. It's a little confusing. I suck at this. I feel like some are like, some companies do it very well and efficiently. And some do it so bad, like this one, it's so bad. Everything is like weird and like all over the place. All right, we got your usual poison. All right, we have the safety and regulations. This is, I've heard you don't have to use it, but some people do, some don't. So this is what you put the like, what is, I don't know if it's called the fluff, but you put it on the mic itself. So obviously audio quality gets better. This is to your phone or to your device, to the transmitter. And here's the pouch. I believe it will be able to put everything else in here. So I'll be able to put this, boom. Yeah, it's actually pretty small, compact, throw it in your pocket, easier to, I guess, follow. Here is the, I believe this is the US, USB-C cable to charge and whatnot. Here's another one. So I believe it's two for both of them, one for each. And these are, ah, oh, they're clipped on. That makes sense to why it wasn't coming off. Yep, these were clipped on. So here we go. I believe this is the mic, the one in my right hand, and this is the receiver, uh, the transmitter. So I believe I'm saying it right. <laughs> so let's see, right here. So we have the mics over here. As you can see, uh, let me see if I can turn it on. I'm trying to figure out how do you turn it on. Okay, and I think I'm turning it on. Oh, right here, mics are turned on, as you can see. So, oh yeah, so you can see it is actually working because this is the mic, it's actually showing the receiver. It's not, I guess, they're, oh, it shows the battery life on, for both of them on the left side. I'll probably charge this before I test it out. Uh, again, obviously I'm still speaking through my regular iPhone lavalier mic, I have it connected, but this will be a more comprehensive review on how this one goes. I mean, the next video right after this, you're gonna see a test drive of how these work. And I'm gonna do it with the iPhone. I probably might do one with like the Osmond Pocket and whatnot, I'm waiting for my um, USB thing coming, so an audio adapter. But this is gonna be interesting. So let's see how the next phase, essentially, if it goes in, I'll do two test drives, one with the iPhone audio quality, one with a lavalier, lavalier mic, my regular one, and one with this. And I'll probably like maybe go a little distance, speak a little low, see how well the quality goes. Uh, maybe even record myself outside walking. It's pretty good weather right now, so I probably can do it. Maybe if it's like raining, I'll see how that goes and we'll essentially go from there. So yeah, let's see. So this is the portion of me basically testing out the road mic and I'm currently doing it indoors and I haven't really clipped it on anywhere. I'm just gonna keep it like over here at this moment. So there's three decibels like options to the Rode uh, my Go Wireless Go. And this is on the lowest one. 
Now the AC is on in the back, so I just did I did that kind of on purpose to also well one it's hot two I did it so I wanted to see how much noise cancellation it does. I have tested it out outside; it's not bad. I haven't tested it indoors, which is interesting because I've actually tested it outside more than indoors. And um, basically, this is like more of an indoor function I want to show you. So most likely, you'll either have it clipped on over here or inside your shirt near somewhere over here. Um, I did try to clip it on; like it looked a little weird. So if I try to just to show you so it does look a bit weird on how this specific is but I it works more if you have like a button shirt or a, like a pocket over here or a button shirt so you can clip it on inside that's why I'm putting it over here and this is just to show you like the type of quality you will get to move it around um, again I have the um, the air resistant on it as well Let's see if I can take it off you can take it off as well you can talk without it I'm unsure how much the quality changes like I said I'm still keeping it in the same spot I have the lowest decibel option available and basically you guys can be the judge of it yourselves and see if this mic is worth getting for you for me for now the quality is very good it works well um, I'm utilizing it to the best of my abilities I personally like it when I do do outdoor videos I use this um, I do have other Rode products which I will show you as well but this was my review for the Rode Wireless Mic Go or Rode Wireless Go <laughs> all the links will for this will be in the description for you guys to check out and um, purchase it if you'd like or see it for your own YouTube channel or vlogging or whatever it may be but yeah overall if you guys did like this video smash that like button if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell on that FNH out peace